What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Miguel. You're watching Miguel EDC, the channel where we talk everything EDC gear here. Today I have a awesome video for you guys to check out. This one is a little bit different. It's not an unboxing. It's not a review, but rather just a compilation of awesome premium knives. Yes, we're talking about knives with titanium handles, usually um, MagnaCut or M390 or 20CV steel. These are gonna be awesome knives that you're gonna wanna have in your collection. I recently did a short, so I took inspiration for this video based on a short that I did in the channel based on Titanium Tuesday, right? We typically, EDC guys, we like to do a little theme carry for each day of the week. So typically for Tuesday or Thursday, right? Both days start with a T. We can do Titanium Tuesday or Titanium Thursday. And I kinda took inspiration from that short video to make a longer video share with you guys some awesome premium edc knives some of these are my own some of these are borrowed and uh, we're gonna go ahead and get started here by the way this knife and every other knife that you see in this video will be linked down below those are affiliate links it does help out the channel if you end up buying a knife through those links but that is entirely up to you and also at no extra cost of course i definitely appreciate that if you do with that said we're gonna go ahead and kick things off here with the tuya wrath right tuya wrath right here awesome way to get get this video started all right <laughs> uh, where do we get started with this knife honestly there's an unboxing and review video for every single knife that you see in this list so if you want to dive in more details learn more about any of these knives definitely make sure to check out those unboxing and review videos but the quick scoop on this one right we have titanium handles this one has the frag pattern I believe there are many other uh, pattern options with the RAF. There is the Segaha pattern as well. There's also the diamond pattern on the RAF as well. But this one uh, comes into me. I'm borrowing it now, currently carrying it uh, as part of Lefty EDC's knife pass around. This one belongs to Kevin, so shout out to Lefty. By the way, there are a few knives on here that are part of his pass around that you know sort of lined up with the knives that I currently have, which allowed for a perfect opportunity to make this video. So we have S90V on the steel going on here. This is a Dave Warren design. He leads the Tuya Knives US branch. Uh, of course, uh, ball bearings here from Flipper. Uh, we can also thumb deploy it. We can reverse flick it. It is a lock bar, uh, locking mechanism here. Great access to the lock bar, right? Great pocket clip here. I love patterns on my premium knives. You know, you're spending uh, quite a bit of money here. These knives, for the most part, the majority of them are at the 200, if not a tad bit higher price point and i mean you're getting a solid edc knife this is a tool that you're gonna have pretty much for the rest of your life unless you trade it or sell it or what have you but yeah awesome awesome knife right here great ergonomics finger choil going on what i love the most probably aside from the frag pattern on this one is the dual ground drop point tanto going on here each and every single one of those grounds is bell satin finish. This hollow ground here looks the meanest, followed by this flat grind right here, and then a nice switch at the top. Man, this thing is just a looker. A looker all around, and I just, I'm so tempted right now to pick one up. I do have two other premium knives on the way, so I'll probably be doing a part two of this video at some point. I really think if it takes off, I wouldn't mind doing more and more videos like this going forward, so smash the like button if you like video content like this on an ongoing basis, but yeah, uh, awesome premium uh, backspacer here. I mean, this thing feels like way more than it costs. Definitely a solid choice. And that is the Tuya Wrath. Tuya Wrath S90V and titanium handles, right? Moving on to the next knife. Now, this one is a grail of mine for the longest time. If you saw the unboxing on this knife, you know, right? Or if you've been in the EDC community or uh, knife community for a while, you probably already know what this is. Of course, we're talking about the Demco AD 20.5. This one is made in Taiwan. It does have the 20 CV steel and it is uh, a Demco knife from Andrew Demco. Um, he has designed many other knives for cold steel, the AD10, AD15, and there's even a US version of this one, uh, the AD20, which is a full size bigger knife than this one. This one has the shark's foot blade. That's what they call this sheep's foot style blade going on here. And this one has the titanium handles. I love, love, love the diamond pattern on this titanium. Uh, these titanium handles here, uh, spoiler alert, there's another knife later in the video that also has diamond patterns and man, 
I love a good diamond pattern on a titanium handle. This one is no exception. Of course, the 8020.5 is rocking the shark's lock, basically this lever back here that you can activate and you know basically manipulate the blade as needed, which is very nice, also very robust. This is one of the strongest uh, locking mechanisms you can have, said to rival that of the triad lock, both created by Andrew, Andrew Demko himself. And yeah, ergonomically speaking, it's a great knife, right? Very, very slicey, very great for EDC tasks with the shark's foot blade here great on the hand right you can forward choke on it feels really good honestly this thing is money uh it does come in a little bit more expensive than that two year wrath by the way the wrath was I believe the wrath was around 250 dollars this one comes in around 390 so it's quite a bit higher premium for this knife where you have solid titanium scales the shark's lock right 20 cv steel and honestly this is one that i look forward to owning from the very beginning of my EDC journey and I'm just so glad that I do. I love putting this thing in my pocket every single time it comes around in my rotation and yeah, money well spent and I'm pretty sure anybody that you know that owns one of these, especially this higher trim one, loves it as well. So I'm gonna keep this thing, probably pass it on to my son, to my grandson or something later on in life. I mean, this thing is going to stick around with me for a long time to come. Anyway, just gotta keep moving forward. The next knife here, Premium Titanium Tuesday or Titanium Thursday premium knife that we're looking at is the Rhea XOM, right? Uh, the Rhea XOM, I mean, to me, it's just one of the coolest knives that I own. I've made so many shorts with this knife. It's always a looker, always an attention grabber. And the reason being here, you have a lockable, right? Lockable gravity knife so when you lock the blade right or the handle here nothing happens which is good for safety reasons you can carry it in your pocket with this pocket clip here and you can then unlock it and basically drop the handle like this slide the blade out because gravity right the way gravity works and then slide it back slide it back out when you're done right or lock it open uh, as you need to for your edc task whatever it is you're cutting this one has the 3v cpm 3v steel going on there with the stone wash it is a dagger blade do believe these come in a clip point bayonet uh a, you know a variety of different blade shapes to complement the knife i got this one with the micarta inserts and the titanium here on this knife is just beautiful this was my most expensive knife knife for the longest time it is a little bit under 300 i believe like 285 or so and it was my first experience with titanium and i was sold right <laughs> right off the bat i was like man oh man once you experience a knife with premium materials it's, it's a game changer and this one is just a fun one because it basically operates very differently than many other knives the Rhea exo was the very first one it was a bigger design bigger handle longer blade but it didn't have the locking mechanism whereas this one is the, a later version it's a little bit shorter shorter blade shorter handle they added the locking mechanism and the pocket clip so you could actually carry it which is nice perfect for adc I mean the machining the fit and finish here everything is to the roof love this knife so much and apparently you guys all love it too because uh these uh this knife has made some of the most viewed shorts in my channel uh <laughs> for as long as i've been making videos in this channel so yeah uh, awesome fun little knife always a conversation starter uh always puts a smile on my face every time i use it uh gravity knife obviously check your local loss to see if you can even carry a knife like this but super fidgety i mean this thing is just wonderful and i'm glad that i have it it is my very own just like that demco 8020 5 and you know i just love rotating into this knife every once in a while awesome so the next knife is also one of my own right if all the other knives have been a little too big for you we got a little bit in every size range this one's a little bit on the smaller size this is the devo nice nip it has the this particular one is the white man nice exclusive we have the titanium handles with a little bit of milling on both sides and we have blue accented pivot colors we have pocket clip and backspacer with the blue accents there and we have the s90v hollow ground stone wash blade on this one so i love this one because it is a perfect fifth pocket knife this thing doesn't really weigh all that much but still looks premium as can be right got the flipper deployment here you could uh, use the blade uh hole there to reverse flick you can thumb deploy it 
like that. And uh, this was a gift from Lefty, AKA Kevin, to me, which I really appreciate and I'm super grateful for. My wife has been trying to snatch this one from me for the longest time, and I just, I just can't give it up, right? It is a gift from Lefty EDC that I'm planning on treasuring till the end of time. It definitely makes a great, you know, it's an awesome piece for my EDC collection. It is a liner lock and uh yeah you can the fact that it has a forward finger choil means that you can forward choke on this thing all day every day and get work done it's basically like having a premium razor at your fingertips the s90v is going to hold an edge for a very very long time and this thing still has plenty of an edge to go even after seeing a ton of use uh honestly i love this knife it's my go-to secondary anytime i'm planning to carry something fancy like titanium i love it and this thing is a not only a looker but also a performer as well and that is the devo nip coming in at around 175 dollars right check the link below to check availability but moving on to the next knife now this one right perhaps you thought the nip was a little too small you want maybe something a tad bit bigger or what have you right I'm not, i got all sizes for you here right today we're talking about all kinds of different knives different approach this one if you're probably thinking hey i would like one to have a tad bit of carbon fiber hint to it well let me introduce you to the oshwartz lantra edx right this is a premium knife we got the titanium handles with the purple carbon fiber inserts check out the milling right here towards the pivot looks really nice the pivots the thumb studs um you know there's accents right even the hardware is all purple a little bit of hint of purple all throughout which is nice this one i can get a comfortable four finger grip on i can forward choke if needed got a beautiful drop point blade here with a belt flat ground belt satin finish going on m390 a uh, nice little switch going on here at the top for personality nice jimping going on in the back and it is a frame lock right frame lock with a reversible pocket clip it is a front flipper also so you can front flip the heck out of it you can also thumb deploy it I mean, and you could reverse flick it. So yeah, very nice uh, premium EDC knife right here. Check it out. This one comes in at whatever the price is on the screen right there because i don't really know the price on this one out of the top of my head but with that in mind yes also another great edc knife premium uh with all the materials there carbon fiber titanium and m390 on the steel right definitely a performer and a looker this thing is definitely an amazing titanium tuesday titanium th thursday carry any day of the week but that being said and moving on to the next one right check this one out this is one of my all-time favorites this is a knife right that i got a chance to borrow as part of lefty edc's knife pass around of course we're talking about the kumu chat and the one that i borrowed belonged to work knife balance check out his channel and of course check out lefty edc's channel if you haven't already but i got a chance to borrow one and carry it as part of the pass around for quite a bit and i ended up falling in love with that knife so hard that i just had to get me my own so i recently got it i unboxed it and i just been carrying this thing non-stop i love me the heck out of the kumu chad and it's rocking a pm60 steel which is a steel that not a lot of companies are messing around with and apparently can take some really really high uh heat treatment which is very interesting it's supposed to hold an edge for a long long time this one here is on the stone wash finish got the sheep's foot slash one cliff looking blade to it uh, it is a crossbar lock and check out the diamond pattern on this one so i mentioned diamond pattern on the 8020.5 earlier right same deal going on with the chat on here it's vertical instead of horizontal and man oh man is that am i a soccer for this like this here uh, is i'm immediately sold i love the diamond pattern on the knife this one even has some micro milling going on on all these different contour lines nice and rounded chamfer all around just a beautiful beautiful knife this thing is gorgeous super premium this thing feels like a more expensive knife than what it actually costs I believe this one retails around 250 or 260 or so also linked down below of course just like every other knife and yeah check out the unboxing and review for this one because honestly i mean just the fact that i just i had to get my own i mean i was so in love with it that after i gave it away there was a hole in my heart i had to <laughs> fill it and uh, ordering me my very own one was uh, the best thing to do after that point reversible reversible deep pocket carry clip which is titanium as well ergonomics on this thing are great this thing is super fidgety really really awesome knife and spoiler alert i may or may not 
right? If you saw this video up until this point, then you got the scoop. I may or may not have two other Kumwus in order waiting for them to be delivered. So stay tuned for that. Definitely smash that like button and subscribe if you don't want to miss out on any future uploads. So I stay up to speed here with the channel. Go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Make yourself part of the Miguel EDC family here. But yeah, awesome, wonderful knife. This is one of my own. Love it. Can't really say enough great things about this knife check it out uh the next knife is also one of my own and this thing man oh man i fell in love with this knife the second i saw it when this knife first came out i'm like man that is just one savage mean looking knife right there and i'm gonna own it as soon as i get a chance to so what we're talking about here is the vosteed rs chaos right this one is a rs knife works collaboration and if you don't follow rs knife works uh you shouldn't check them out on instagram vosteed of course they make a handful of many awesome edc knives but this premium one comes in around $250 we have m390 on the blade here we have a nice you know like really like a lot of personality to this knife some milling going on in the blade also match the same lines going on in the handle there I like the satin finish on it, it looks really really good right I love me a satin finish blade if it were a blade satin finish on top of that it would look even better right if you ask me but this one this one is certainly a looker and I love it we have a dual ground going on so both of these are flat grounds but but this one is a little bit taller right it's a more aggressive angle this one is a little bit shorter and also thicker angle back here just interesting right you don't see a ton of knives like that the handle right got plenty of handle right here i got medium hands ergonomically this knife feels really really good in the hand you also have a finger choil to forward choke on this knife if you wanted to right that makes it even more controllable the Warncliffe blade on this thing is the one thing that drew me to this knife the most I love me a Warncliffe blade any day of the week and this one is just very very useful you can put that tip to work get some utility cuts some draw cuts some slicing going on with this thing it's just wonderful and the titanium handles are B blasted finish right and we have the big hardware T8 all around check out the nice back spacer titanium backspacer to complement it all and we have a very nice and comfortable pocket clip which is not reversible but honestly when that when you are really bearing down squeezing on that handle you barely feel that pocket clip at all now this one has a button lock here which is uh, very similar to the uh, button compression lock on the spider coast mock I go a lot uh, into that during the review video and the unboxing so check it out so many deployment options with this knife you got the flipper back here you got the you can use the pill shape hole here to thumb deploy it my favorite the reverse flick and of course you could use the button there to deploy it all right got some weight to it it is a drop shot knife honestly this thing is just wonderful it is a tank of a knife all the premium materials that you know and love and i got this one for my birthday last year having worked on the channel for you know a year pretty much so and uh, i didn't look back super happy glad that i have this as part of my collection and i love this knife a ton really love carrying it every time i edc it it puts a smile on my face and it's very meaningful right of you know when i picked it up and why i picked it up so that is the vosteed rs chaos all right and moving on on. last but not least we have one more knife that is premium and that is the right titanium thursday right that is a theme here so everything here is premium titanium uh going on and this one is the american blade works model 2 what's interesting about this one is that it is made by one guy in his shop right here in the good old us of a right so this knife is 100 made in the usa it does have the magna cut steel which is a very sought after steel uh check out the one cliff blade or sheep's foot blade on this one which again right i don't know if you've seen a theme here but the last three knives and at least four or five knives on this whole list have been sheep's foot slash one cliff blades and that's just my favorite blade geometry of, of all time so wonderful flat grind going on here this one has <coughs> somehow they managed to pull some lines for personality on the blade sort of matches the aesthetics on the handle so the handles are titanium right but they sort of have like these lines that the milling here is very very nice it sort of sort of looks like a bus from like the 50s the 60s i don't know why it kind of looks like a diner <laughs> in a way but i love it it's like a different type of uh titanium it's more polished right more vibrant more reflective to light uh definitely uh different there the crown backspacer towards the back there looks very nice and you have a nice straight pocket clip there which is only on one side this one is a flipper open only and it is a liner lock right liner lock on this one right 
way action this thing is amazing this thing and all these knives but as a matter of fact are super super sharp and of course you you're, we're talking about premium steels all throughout so of course we know right the the performance is going to be there ergonomically speaking this thing is really really good you can forward choke if you want to as well you're going to be very close to the blade you just want to be careful but man this this again just like the last three knives right you can put that tip to work drug cuts utility cuts slicing right this thing is a performer all around and yeah this one has the premium materials i believe this one is close to 300 dollars right i'll put the correct pricing right here in case i am wrong and the availability on this one is a little bit limited uh sometimes because again it's just one guy small shop usa made cranking these out as fast as they can and so you know that, that they are going to be limited in the production there so don't be mad if these are out of stock i'll try to do my best to link them down below but just awesome knife this one belongs to lefty right so shout out to kevin again for the opportunity to borrow and check this one out i'm currently carrying it and i'll be dropping the review on this knife here very very soon but yeah those are some amazing titanium knives that you should definitely add to your collection definitely make a great titanium tuesday or titanium thursday right addition to your arsenal right so we have again the tuya raf followed by the demco 8020.5 then we looked at the Ria Exo M. Okay. All right. If you want to go a little smaller, you could do the Devo Nice Nip or the Lantra EDX from Oshworks. Are we going to have enough room? I don't know. Let's just slide them forward a bit here. Make sure we can fit them all in frame. So a total of eight knives. Then we looked at the Kumwu Chad. Again, really blown away by the performance and quality of Kumwu knives. If you're new to Kumwu, just know they do an awesome killer job with their knives. There is the Vasti Raccoon. There's the Vasti RS Chaos. And once again, we're running out of room. So let's keep sliding everybody to the left, to the left, to the left. All right, there we go. All right. And let's just make room for last and but not least the american blade works model 2 right so check it out i mean uh, th these are just a few of so many honestly so many knives let me see if i can get the light to hit the knives a little bit differently there we go right the blades on those first two was a little overexposed there we go all right now now you're seeing them in their true colors shining everywhere again i just can't get over how that blade looks on the two-year raft it's beautiful just beautiful beautiful all around again all of these highly recommendable knives can't really recommend them enough I, i'm in love with so many of them i own one two three four five of the eight total one two three are borrowed from lefty edc uh, honestly guys if you're looking to upgrade your edc game your knife game right titanium tuesday you're looking to rock it out duke it out with some premium knives out these are not going to be budget knives these are not going to be the most affordable knives you are going to pay a pretty penny for these but honestly right if you're looking at this hobby long term right <laughs> sometimes you gotta bite the bullet right make the investment and just know that you're going to end up with some solid knives that you're going to basically be happy that you own basically for the rest of your life right i look at the ones that i own now and the ones that i plan to pick up somewhere in the future as you know lifelong knives lifelong tools that ever since i got into this hobby i've been looking forward to owning and carrying every single one of them has a very special place in my heart i love them all so so much but there you have it you guys let me know in the comments what are your thoughts what are your go-to titanium tuesday knives i'm curious to see what you guys are all carrying out there what type of titanium tuesday or titanium thursday or just premium knives in general are you guys carrying out there let me know in the comments let's have a discussion down there let's hang out in the comments as usual all right shoot me anything i'll try to get back to you as quickly as possible you guys already know if you made it to this point and you haven't smashed that like button i mean please go ahead and uh destroy the heck out of that like button subscribe if you aren't already uh it does help Help the channel when you click the like button helps push this video to a larger audience and if you want to support the channel a step further there's a link for patreon down below where you can support the channel for as little as one dollar a month or you can simply support the channel right here on youtube by just becoming a channel member you'll get access to exclusive perks guys check out the unboxing and review videos for all these knives here on the channel if there's any knife that you like more or what have you there's more content on these knives everywhere in the channel so check it out just type in the name of the knife miguel edc and you're on your way thank you guys for all your love and support if you made it to the very end you guys are the real mvps really appreciate each and every single one of you hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day and i'll be catching you guys on the next one peace